The Apple AirPods 3 released a couple of months ago, and I think they're pretty amazing. That's a pretty far stretch from where I started with these little gadgets. I thought the original AirPods were the stupidest thing that I'd ever seen when they were first released. They're very small, easy to lose. They just hung out of your ears so weirdly. It was something that I only saw hipsters wearing. But you shouldn't judge a book by the cover the first time you've seen it, because eventually I did buy a pair of AirPods, and I've now owned and loved every single AirPod variant that's come out thus far. So what do I think about the AirPods 3 now that we've had them in hand for the past two months? Let's find out. I can't slam them too hard because they're my wife's and I, I don't want to break them. What's up everyone? I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Quick note before we get too far into my thoughts, nobody is sponsoring today's video. Nobody provided me these headphones in any way, shape, or form. I purchased these myself with my own legal tender. None of that Bitcoin stuff. But like I said, I do like AirPods, so probably some internal biases are going on and that's going to happen no matter where you go. All right, as we've yet to make a video on the AirPods 3, let's quickly cover the specs and ordering information in case this is your first time even knowing there was a 3. Because was there an AirPods 2 that I just missed? Look, I, I'm i in the Apple ecosystem. Did I miss the AirPods 2? The Apple AirPods 3 come in at $179, brand new from Apple. I was also able to find them for $169 on Amazon already, link in the description. So they are already a better deal than at launch. Look, I'm coming up aces already here so far in the video. I wanna pause here really quickly because I think the price is the biggest turnoff about the AirPods. I know when I initially saw them, I could not comprehend spending so much money on a set of really small, dinky, looking things that I assumed I was immediately going to lose. Heck, I wouldn't have spent that money on any headphones, regardless of who made them. Sure, maybe I've now accepted the price, and I'm privileged enough that I don't really need to worry about it all that much, but I still have my original pair of AirPods from all those years ago. I've never lost one, despite moving three times since I purchased them. They do have a barely audible electronic whine if you listen for it closely enough, but they still pair to my phone and they still work with phone calls and all such tasks. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've never owned a pair of headphones that I've held on to that long. I feel like at least for me, the fact that they were so expensive made me pay more attention to them, leading me to take better care of them. So in reality, with not needing to buy another set of headphones in the past few years, it's worked out to about $53 a year if we think about it as three years. It's probably been longer than three, it's probably been like four years. I didn't do the math on four years, so I'm not gonna do it here publicly. So it's it hasn't been that bad of a deal. Yes, that was a long rambling mess of a section, but I wanted to share my personal experience. While yes, these are not cheap headphones, they actually last a very long time and they're not that hold to keep a hold of, especially now that they support Find My, which we will talk more about that later. So now that we've got the price out of the way, what have I liked and what have I disliked? We've been on a positive slant lately and we need to course correct for reasons. That's as good a reason as any that I think that I need today to start off with the negatives. This part was pretty hard to think of because when you look at all the AirPods, you've got Gen 1, Gen 2, the Gen 3 is objectively a better product in every single way. And we will talk about those a lot in the positives. So when they take something and they make it so much better, it's really hard to then find things that you don't like. I guess if I had to nitpick, I don't like the $20 price increase. I feel like 159 bucks was the perfect price for a set of headphones like this. Expensive enough that you can get some really cutting edge tech inside of it, but not high end enough to make me feel paranoid every time I wear them. Cough, AirPods Max, cough. And that's kind of a weird stance for me to take because I'm not opposed to price increases if they give us new and exciting features. And the AirPods 3 do in fact do that. But $20 on top of $159 is a 12% price increase compared to the 4% price increase from the MacBook Pro 16 to the new M1 MacBook Pro 16. The only other thing that I don't really like is the lack of active noise cancellation. I get that's primarily the role for the AirPods Pro and their much higher price tag, but it's such a useful feature. I really wish they could have added it here if there were going to also increase the price. And I guess, okay, I, I fibbed. I have one more thing I don't like. I don't like the AirPods 3 are missing the end piece gasket like the AirPods Pro. While the active noise cancellation, if we're being honest, is a pie in the sky request that is very unlikely to have ever happened on the vanilla AirPods, I do feel like the end piece is an easier thing to add within the budget of the product already. Adding those rubber ends allows for greater customization for different folks' ear shapes. One of the main complaint about AirPods besides the price is for folks that they just don't fit. And while I I do like the new shape. You'd think Apple would want their quote unquote base model option to work for as many people as possible. If these don't fit your ear, you're just kind of out of luck. Additionally, that also helps out for noise pollution on the outside as you get a better seal from the headphone with a piece like that and you don't have to crank the volume so much when you're in a noisier environment.
environment. This is probably the thing that I'm most irritated about because it's such a small feature, but it could so vastly enhance the overall user experience from both a sound quality, but also a fit point of view. Okay, when you come right down to it, those three things are the only problems I have with these updated headphones. Like I said in the intro, I think Apple objectively made these better in every single way compared to the original. So we had some nitpicks, but now it's time to get into the things I've liked. First off, I think the audio quality is vastly improved over the original AirPods. I'm not enough of an audiophile or expert to scientifically say how they do it. Suffice to say, it's noticeably better. And I would say if you are sitting in a quiet room or some other place that you don't need active noise cancellation, these sound better than the AirPods Pro. And I love those headphones. Those are my favorite headphones of all time, but these sound better. Bass sounds great. Audio is very clear and crisp. And these include the latest spatial audio technology from Apple, which is actually amazing. It's like being in your own little home theater if you are watching movies or TV on a device that supports it. I also like that if you are somebody that uses FaceTime a lot, and that's our primary means of keeping in touch with our family that lives several states away, you'll now get HD audio with the AirPods 3. And that's a pretty nice bump in quality. I think I've used every single audio term that I actually know. Look, from a layman's perspective, just bottom line, these sound great and they sound far better than the original AirPods. Next up in the things that I like, I like that you've got some actual controls on the AirPods itself. Now it's nothing like the Beats or other wireless headphones that actually give a lot of control from the body of the pod itself. But because of this, you get a little touch sensor and you can press to play, pause and skip through songs or answer and end calls from here. And I really do like that. That's very useful to me because I don't always wanna mess around with my phone or my watch if I'm out running and I wanna to skip to my next song. Just boom, done, easy. I would prefer to have actually physical buttons on the headphone itself to allow for this because I always seem to be unable to press the perfect amount for what I want when I'm in the middle for running, but I guess baby steps in the right direction. The next thing I've really liked is battery life. You, look team, you cannot go through a whole video with me without me talking about battery life. I should just rename the whole channel to the everyday battery life guy. It's the single most important spec or feature on anything as far as I'm concerned. I catch so much flack for always emphasizing this, but I'm gonna keep doing it. It doesn't matter what else a watch or a phone or a computer does. If it doesn't turn on or it only lasts a very small period of time, well then those other things aren't doing all that much for you then, huh? Here you'll get a reported six hours of life from a single charge of the pods themselves. And then you can get five full recharges from the case, giving you over 30 hours of use from a single full charge. That's pretty darn good. And that's the best of any AirPods so far. No, you won't be able to go a full day of use out of a single instance of the AirPods themselves. But even in my most grueling days, I don't need headphones to run that long. I use them for meeting and then I put them back in the case. On the rare occasion that I do need that much longevity, I will hot swap the AirPods by alternating an ear at a time. So you can actually get that much continuous use out of them if you find yourself in a pinch. And tangentially, that's another thing that I like about AirPods is how intelligent they are to know when one or both are attached. I'm sure other brands do that too, but I only really use these and Beats from time to time, so those are the ones that I know. Battery life though gets a very big thumbs up for me because not only does this beat out the original AirPods, but it also trounces the AirPods Pro with over an hour and a half of additional life from just the headphones themselves. That's incredible. Battery life, mm, chef's kiss. Next up, I like that the case now comes standard with wireless charging. You had to buy a special case or get the Gen 2 version of the original AirPods to get this, and I like that that's just now the way of things. Since MagSafe on the iPhone came out with the Series 12, I've only been charging my phone with a MagSafe adapter, and I will probably buy a second to start charging my AirPods. It's just a more convenient way to make sure that everything is always topped off and ready to go. The next thing I like is I vastly prefer the shape and fit of the new AirPods over the originals. I never had a problem with how the original headphones fit. I ran hundreds, if not thousands of miles with mine, and while sometimes they would feel loose, I never actually had one fall out of my head. But when they feel loose, you're paranoid. You're like, oh goodness, it is eventually gonna fall out. Even if it doesn't, your brain doesn't accept that, right? Here, the AirPods 3 fit like a glove. Yes, I wish they came with customizable rubber ends, but they don't, sad face. Even without them, I can easily say that these AirPods fit my ears so much better and are so much more comfortable to wear over longer periods of time. I like that the stems don't extend so far down, and while all AirPods do still look pretty goofy in my opinion, at least they are popular enough that we all now look goofy together. Team, I'll bring it in, we all look goofy together. They fit fine for when I'm out running, but because of the ends and the lack of active noise cancellation, if you were looking for a pair of headphones primarily for running or other outdoor activities, I would 
still recommend the AirPods Pro over these. If you would like to see a more in-depth comparison between the two, let me know in the comments below. And the last thing that I've liked about the AirPods 3 all this time later, I like the inclusion of Find My for AirPods. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think one of the biggest hurdles somebody needs to overcome if they wanna buy AirPods for the first time is the fear that they could misplace them very easily. Well, with Find My, so long as you haven't lost both your phone and your headphones at the same time, which I have done that on several occasions, you can easily tap on the app to recover your lost headphones. Yes, there are some privacy concerns that Apple needs to work through with the Find My network, but at least for somebody like me that stays home 90% of the time, I don't worry about losing my gadgets anymore because even if they fell under the couch, I can easily sort that out with a quick app. But at the end of the day, so what, right? Do I like the AirPods Generation 3? Yes, I do a lot, actually. I think they are a worthy upgrade over the original AirPods, and I think Apple's done a great job keeping up with technology on one of their headlining pieces of tech. Do I recommend the AirPods 3? Yes. If you are looking for a pair of headphones for work or listening to music, I easily recommend these over the AirPods 1, the 2, and the pros if you can't find them on a decent discount. And I do recommend, if you have AirPods 1, to go out and get these too. The only time I would not really recommend the AirPods 3 is if you are looking for headphones primarily for fitness. I still think the crown there lies with the AirPods Pro, and we'll have to see what a second generation of those looks like in the future. But what about you? Do you use AirPods or some other brand of wireless headphones? Let me know in the comments below, because maybe there is some other brand out there that I haven't tried, but yet they are still awesome. And if you like this video and you wanna see what I think of the Apple Watch Series 7 after using it as well for almost two months. You can find that video by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.